what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife I am so glad you're here My name's Leslie I am absolutely thrilled to have you here And listen you're in my kitchen down on the farm, but just because you're in my kitchen doesn't mean we're going to do any cooking. Today's video is going to be a little bit similar to our weekend wrap up. Um, I put this shirt on and I, the last time I wore it on a video, I got lots of comments. Where did I get it? Where did I get it? And um, so I thought, and it seems like everything I get at this particular place um, everybody comments and they really like it. So I thought I would share this place with you. It is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. It is just a place that I super enjoy and I don't have to leave the comfort of my home. So um, hang tight and I'll tell you about that. But first, let's run a little bit of farm footage while I'm cleaning up here. Uh, we've had a lot of people uh, in the hospital. Uh, in fact, Bryant was at the hospital most of the day. Yes, well, not most of the day, most of the evening, yesterday evening. I didn't do any cooking. So uh, I did a lot of cooking the first of the week. End of the week is going to be slim to none. Um, so I'm just going to bring you guys along with whatever we do. And the first thing is we've got some farm footage that I'll share with you. Uh, we have hay fields that occasionally get weeds that are harmful to the animals, especially horses, and can be uh, harmful to cows. And so we have to spray those fields to get the hay to where it is safe and nutrient, full of nutrients for the animals. So um, I know we're gonna take you through a little time of, um, I'll show you how they spray the fields. And um, so yes, um, anyway, um, we're going to just do a few farm stuff. I'm going to do some kitchen stuff and then we'll come back and I'll show you some of the clothes I get this place and then I'll share with you what that place is. So, um, hang tight. I have no idea what's on this. But, oh, Judah Bug and I are on this video a little bit. So just enjoy, sit back, relax. The cooking video should be back soon. And, um, yeah. It's just one of those weeks, I, and I just take, this is my real life, and that's what this channel is about. It wasn't necessarily birthed to be a cooking channel, although that's what it has kind of morphed into, but still, um, I, I, I just bring you along for our journey, whatever that is, so come on and um, join us, why don't you? Afternoon, everybody. Hey, one of the problems we've been having on this hay barn since we built it about four or five years ago is there's a lot of water that comes off this hill right here and we're getting some seepage not water running through to the hay barn but just some seepage to the ground i'll show you what we're talking about let me turn you around water comes down this hill right here and uh i built that lean to uh, that's an 18 foot lean to off of that hay barn that hay barn's 40 by 60 okay and what happens you believe it or not there's so much water comes down through there and off the roof of that hay barn that it seeps through the soil and it goes into the hay barn through the soil. You're gonna see some of our junk and mess right here. Um, I park equipment under here. Uh, that's the bat wing. Usually there's a little tractor over there. That cab tractor right there gets parked right here. But anyway, on the other side of that is my hay, where I store my hay at. Let me take you around there and show you real quick. Ignore the mess, don't fuss at me, because I know it's messy. But uh, I store hay in here, usually about 300 rolls. Well, here's the problem. You see that uh, brown spot right there on the ground, that big brown spot? That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look dry. See that dry spot right there? All that dry spot over there? What happens is water is seeping through the ground and getting in here in the hay barn, getting the bottom of the hay bales wet. I don't like that. The cows don't like that. And uh, so that's not good. So what we're doing, we're putting some guttering on the outside of that hay barn, hoping to get rid of this problem. Let me take you over there and show you them making the gutters. 
I'll give you a quick crash course on how gutters work, okay? It comes in this uh, sheet right, it's called aluminum coil. See those coils right there? They go in that coil and it feeds into this machine right here. As it feeds into this machine, it actually forms and rolls the gutter as it comes out the machine. And you'll see it right here. They've uh, just took it out the edge of the machine. It comes out that end right there. See that end right there? And it rolls it, forms it. We're doing what's called a, a seamless gutter, six inch gutter, 62 foot long. You sit there and uh, it's an art to get a gutter up that long without bending it. But these fellows are professionals. Mr. McIntyre here is the, the mayor of uh, Kent Mill Road. Yeah, not Grantville. And so uh, anyway, we're gonna watch them get this together, so. We're riding around looking at the grass for in our hay fields, checking for any weeds um, that may need to be sprayed or anything that would be harmful to the cattle. We've already sprayed so, it once, so we're just making sure. Just making sure that the there's weed, no. The, the weed control product works well. The weed control product is called 214. And it, it leaves the grass that is healthy for the animals and takes away the, the broad, weeds that are not healthy any, for the animals. Any, any broad leaf weeds. We're also stopping and picking up any um, limbs or things that could cause damage to our hay equipment. So if we, if we see one as we're riding around, we just stop and kind of put it over into the edge of the woods. Of course, the tree limbs... Uh those tree limbs that fall around the edge of the woods can be very damaging to the mowing machine and it's a very important piece of equipment right now. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see the little yellow flowers. Let's see if I can zoom in. There, you can see the yellow just kind of peeking through there. These are very invasive to our hay field and we want hay without these yellow flowers now they're not as bad this year as they sometimes are but you can see the field is pretty full of them so bryant is out here putting a chemical on that keeps the grass healthy and nutritious for our cows but that will destroy the yellow flowers which is not nutritious and not healthy for our cows. So um, he'll be back around in just a minute. He has a sprayer hooked up to our tractor. And I'll show you that when he comes back around. He's made his way back around. waving at y'all. There he goes. So guess what's going down on the farm today? It's something that makes me super happy and super excited and something we should have done a long time ago. Absolutely long time ago. But the guys have been so busy and um, I don't have a tractor handy here that I can just go and do it. Uh, plus, I'm not real good at hooking up equipment and all that kind of stuff. So let me show you what's happening here on the farm today. We've got Daniel tilling up my garden spot. And it is just covered in grass. Let me back out just a little bit. There we go. Um, and I wanted this done like in February and to do it multiple, multiple times. So that the grass would be less likely to come back as weeds but that is not taking place it's just because we're so busy but um, anyway it's getting done today praise the Lord so Daniel has on the back of his trailer you can hear the rocks that are in our garden oh my goodness um, this is called a tillage tool or a tiller and um, it, it gets the dirt super fine 
and I still want them to go over it multiple, multiple, multiple times before I plant. I, I'm planning on planting a little bit later than I normally do this year. You can see it spinning under there. And this ground right here looked just like this a few minutes ago. And you can see how fine it's getting it. Like I said, we're gonna be going over this quite a bit um, for a while. So, but hey, it's getting started and this makes me super duper happy. And look, who's coming up the driveway? Here comes the supervisor. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, heaven one of these days. Yep, me you too. Go? Yeah, me too. Gotta know Jesus, right? Yeah, you better straighten up. And live for him. Hey, <laughs> what are you talking about? So is Daniel getting it done? Daniel's getting it done. Looks great. Okay, so hey everyone, that dish last night, that supper last night was absolutely amazing. Bryant's favorite, that is his dream supper, that is absolutely his favorite, and I need to start doing it more often for him. But it was so good, so I wanted to just tune in real quick and tell you that it was absolutely delicious, and it was great having the whole family here together. It was wonderful. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to end today's video right here. We'll pick up tomorrow where this one is leaving off. We're just going to pick right back up. And so let me just say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you did so. Share my videos on your social media. I appreciate you guys more than you can imagine. So I'll see you guys next time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I said on yesterday's video that we would pick right up where we left off and that's what we're doing. I'm actually in my car. I am going to eat lunch with Judabug at school. I have not done that this whole entire year and we're going to do it today and I am so excited to go have lunch with him. Now, of course, I will not be filming inside the um, school building but maybe i'll get a picture of me and judah having our lunch together but hey guys um we're just going to go through the day i don't know what everything holds i don't know what all is going to be on this video but hey just come along for the ride i've done a lot of cooking thus far this week and so it's kind of slowing up a little bit we're getting ready to sell chickens and so we are in high gear putting a lot of stuff together so i'm going to head into the school building I'll see you when we come out and we get to doing other stuff. So, all right, I'll be right back. So I am now headed to pick up Judah and Levi from daycare. Um, most of the time, Jamie gets home in time to get them. And if not, Caroline can, but at least maybe twice a week, about twice a week, I have to go get them. And today's one of those days I, d I never know till the last minute. So um, Caroline just called while we were checking the hay fields. And so Brian took me home so I could get the car. And now we're headed to get the boys. Everything for supper is pretty much ready. As far as I got the potatoes peeled and they're in water. All I've got to do is add salt and turn them on and cook them until they're ready to make mashed potatoes. And the green beans are in the pot. They're seasoned. I just got to turn them on and cook them. <laughs> the biscuits are... I hadn't done anything with the biscuits. So I still got to do that. But, um, yeah. So we will... Um, I'll finish supper when I get home. But I got to get two little cute boys in just a second. So that's where we're headed now. There.
Okay, everyone. So, like I said, several of you questioned me where I got this shirt. I absolutely adore this shirt. It is so comfortable, so soft, and it's so cute, and it looks good with jeans. It looks good. I've got on like a kind of wide leg capris now, and I love it. So, um, I thought I would share with you this boutique, but first, let me share with you some of the items. Now, this is not everything I've bought from her because there's winter clothes I've already put up and some things I can't remember that I got from her that I know I probably did. But this shirt and this right here, it has a side tie. I don't have it tied, but it's a little side bow thing that you can put here. And it's actually an off the shoulder shirt. Um, and I love this. This looks so good with white jeans or I've got a pair of uh, pants this color that it looks really cute with. Um, I love that shirt. It's super comfortable. All of her sizes from this place, I'm going to share with you. Don't, uh, I'm going to share it at the end, but I, the sizing is on point. It's wonderful. Now this is kind of a casual shirt that I bought from her. Um, and it's got the little ruffle sleeves and this pretty knit area. I usually just, this is not something I wear a lot of unless I'm, you know, it's just a little casual t-shirt basically. And my newest purchase from her is right here. It's a beautiful kimono with um, some ruffles at the bottom all the way around. So um, I love it. I cannot wait to wear it. I am super excited. So um, those are just some of the place things that I've got from her. So I'm going to share the link. It is actually an online boutique, but it is um, small business. It is a brick and mortar store in Ohio, I believe. And so I really want to go visit her. Um, she is so nice. She has actually reached out to me several times. And um, so be sure to go check out the description but the name of the boutique is dollhouse boutique and you it's got an app you can put on your phone she goes live from her store twice a week and um, sells right there and then you can go in and order things she ships out the next day it is wonderful there is no sponsorship here i'm not affiliated with her in any way other than i just enjoy purchasing from her her prices are fairly reasonable and so I'll leave her link down in the description, but go check her out. I super duper really enjoy shopping from her. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I know it's been a hodgepodge, much like our weekend wrap up. Um, but so you got to see a lot of farming. Hey, when I shared the video where Bryant was showing you where the moisture runs into the hay barn, the, the footage ended quite abruptly. And let me tell you why. He slipped and fell. <laughs> he was soaking wet. He was covered in mud. It was quite hilarious. But um, that's why the footage ended pretty much abruptly at that point. Because as he was falling, I guess he hit the stop button. But <laughs> it was funny. His, his feet got um, out from under him real quick. So, all right. I will see you guys next time on The Farming Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.